Well, hello there, it's Mr. Jackdaw here. I'm hoping to introduce you to my plug in sort pack. It's become that complicated now that I think it needed a video tutorial, so as nervous as I am to do this, uh, I'm going to give it a go. Okay, so to describe what sort pack does, here is my backpack. All messed up, as you can see, bits all over the place, and I could manually sort it all. The idea of sort pack is that it uh, puts your items in a logical order, uh, which should be customizable. I mean, we all want things in a slightly different way. Okay, so once it's installed, now I won't go through that, there's plenty of tutorials on how to install plugins elsewhere. Uh, you go to System, Plugin Manager, double click it, and the plugin starts up. Visually, there's no difference yet, but a little icon has appeared at the top here. If I unlock the user interface, I can move this around. If I left click inside, I can rescale it. Now I'll put it quite big just for this tutorial. Okay. If I right click it, I get a few different options. Sort the pack is the very basic feature of sort pack that it started with. If you choose this one, when I left click it, it starts up and it just sorts the pack into order by item categories. To explain that, every item in the game is in an item category uh, determined by turbine and sort pack uses that to sort the items into order very simple and that's the basic functionality of sort pack and a lot of people are quite happy with that something I programmed later on though was something called the sort bag which isn't loaded unless you select this option now if I left click on there it opens up this instead so now the items are sorted into their categories automatically and they're put into groups. So you can see all my weapons are here, all the buff items have been stuck up here, all the potions have been stuck up here. But again, these categories are determined by Turbine, the groups are determined by me. So what I need to show you next is a few of the options on the sort bag. If we click the icon up here, we get the choice of different fonts, so I can change the font of the labels here. Okay, and I also get option to override the default bags. Now the default bags will never fear, and I press my key bind for the bag, it opens and closes. Okay, I'll go through these two in a moment. I just want to show you the bag can be resized. If I hover over the right hand side here, I get a little bar to stretch it out. I can increase the width or decrease the width. Hold the shift key down. Uh, sorry, hold the control key down. Hmm. The alt key down. If I hold the alt key down, <laughs> I can alter the width of the label. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, the other two options. Open the sort order panel. What this does is it allows me to change uh, where items are stored in the pack. So for example, in Unknown at the moment I've got all sorts of things, including some scrolls. In Misc I've got craft items, which is rather inconvenient. They might be better in a, the craft category, or the craft group, or I may want to uh, resources. Create a new group, which you do by typing in here, resource. resources even. Okay, and I can drag, uh, grab and drag, do, 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 do. resource, into resources. You can see now I've got a new group here called resources. Might be better if that was further up the list. So if I drag here, I can lift it to, let's say, put it just below craft. And now I have my resources here. So, Items, every item in the game is in a category. Every category is in a group. So then it's very simple. We can just alter the order of things. It appears automatically in the bag. Everything's done. Okay, a couple of other options. It could be possible that they've, the Turbine have put things into a category that you don't agree with or that you would like a custom category. So I've put in a feature to create user custom categories or change the category and items in. For example, here, down here, fireworks. 
uh, I, I think they should really be in the device category. So, an option up here is create edit custom categories. We have here every category in the game and a box at the bottom to add your own. So I think, uh, here, let's see. I think I'm going to make a new category called Fireworks. If I then left click on here, I get an option on the right hand side. Drag items here from your backpack to add them to the category Fireworks. So if I click and drag here. It can be a little temperamental. It can take a couple of drags to do it. The minus icon allows you to delete items from that category. And that, item, uh, that minus icon deletes the whole item category. You can only delete custom categories. Custom categories start at 500. And now if I open my sort order, create edit custom category, uh, sorry, sort order panel, and I look down in unknown, I have a new one called fireworks that I can then pull up into device. And now fireworks will be listed after, let's see, after devices. Done. Okay. Um, the only thing left to show you really is, well there's a couple more options here, uh, opening the sort of debug window, that's just in case you want to know exactly, so for example that travelling rations of food, yeah. uh, that pile of rich soil is counted as an ingredient in the item categories which is an interesting one, uh, yellow fireworks are now fireworks because we created a custom category, and that's your backpack in order not in the order of the sort bag. Uh, last thing here is show hide counter. Okay, if I now unlock my window, a counter. Hmm. Yep. Now if I left click it, a little counter appears. This counter again is, again, if the window is unlocked, resizable. It just shows you I've used six three slots out of 75. Right clicking on that now, we show that I only have 12 slots left. So it gives you an idea of when your bag's about to run out of slots. So, in summary, I've tried to create something to make your backpack a little bit more logical to sort it into orders. I hope this little video has been useful. Uh, the basic thing I think you should remember is that all items are in categories, all categories are in groups, and it's possible to make custom groups and categories. Thank you.